few takeaways from this year's Summer League. First, we're going to talk about a few players who have been very impressive in Summer League. And this list is not limited to the players I say, because there are actually have been quite a few impressive players besides the one that I'm going to mention. So shout out to all the players who have shown out in Summer League. But first we have Keontae George. If you have been watching Summer League in any way, shape, or form, it is hard to miss his performances because he's been so good. Now, sadly, he had an ankle sprain, and now he's out for the rest of Summer League. The MRI revealed no fractures, so that's good news. But he was leading the Jazz to a 4-0 record in Summer League. They have a perfect record so far in Summer League, and tomorrow they play again, so we'll see how they do without him. He has been lighting it up from the field, scoring, assisting the ball. Like, he's been doing a little bit of everything. He has really showed out in Summer League. He's shooting 44% from three. He's averaging, I think, like six assists, like 22 points per game or something like that. Like, he's doing so many good things out there. And the Jazz should be very happy that they drafted him because he is looking really good. At number nine, he obviously, I believe the Jazz had the number nine pick. <laughs> anyway, at number nine, obviously a lottery pick should be a very talented player. But it's looking like the Jazz may have gotten a steal even at the number nine pick because he looks very good. Number two is Dyson Daniels. Now Dyson Daniels obviously was drafted last year. He did get limited minutes with the Pelicans this past season. So he does have sort of a competitive advantage in the sense that he has already been in the league and stuff like that. So it's different than him being a rookie out there. But that aside, Dyson Daniels has been very impressive and he's really showcased some of his skills that you didn't really get to see last year because obviously he was in limited minutes. But you can see the talent and the skill set in this summer league. Like Dyson Daniels had one of the best assists that I've seen in quite some time during summer league. I forgot, it was a couple of days ago. He like drove to the basket and then like put it around his back and then did like a no look pass to the corner. It was really, really nice. Like, and he was surrounded by like two defenders. So if you haven't seen that, look up Dyson Daniels best assist from Summer League. You'll see it, like it was nice. The Pelicans have so much talent and now they gotta figure out how they can fit Dyson Daniels into the rotation more often because he definitely looks like he needs more minutes. <laughs> For some reason, his photo is not working, so I apologize. I don't know what's going on. But the next player I want to talk about was Xavier Moon. He has been very good in Summer League. He's shooting like a ridiculous, like, 52% from three. And he's shooting like five attempts a game. Like, it's not like he's shooting one a game. And shooting 52% from three, that's crazy. The Clippers are three and one in Summer League. So obviously, he has helped equate to wins for the team. And he has just been very good, along with so many other players. So shout out to the players in Summer League. The last thing I want to say is... We have seen so many highlight dunks, posters, people are showing out in Summer League and we love to see it.